Open source software is software that is made available publicly on the internet to developers and users all across the world. We release a variety of open source software from Lawrence Livermore. These include things like math libraries, compiler toolkits, visualization tools, and underlying operating system software. The federal source code policy and code.gov are resources created by the US federal government to encourage and promote the use and development of open source software across all federal government agencies. The idea is that government agencies are already producing open source software, they're using open source software, and therefore they should be encouraged and empowered to share that software with each other as well as with the US citizens. Here at Lawrence Livermore, we use a service called github.com, which is the premier code hosting repository on the internet. This is where some of the largest open source projects in the world are hosted and made available to the public. A resource we developed here at Lawrence Livermore is the software.lml.gov portal. This is a site we put together in order to host the over 350 soft open source software repositories we have and make them available, make them discoverable to the public, to users that would want to use them, develop them, and include them in their own applications. One of the benefits of open source software is in high performance computing. It's a very small collection of uh, developers and users that are have these centers, have these very large systems. And so the development work that's done on regular computing systems isn't necessarily the same that is in high performance computing. Collaboration is really important in software development. There's pretty much no chance that I myself as one developer am ever going to encounter every issue that a particular software tool may need to fix. There's going to be other users that encounter other issues that run on other systems, other operating systems, and they're really going to need to find and help me fix the issues that I myself might write into my own software for their environments. When the laboratory releases open source software, we're doing this as a way of giving back what the public has paid for to the U.S. citizens. And the idea here is that we're encouraging university partners, industry partners to come and contribute to the software that we produce and that we need here that may be beneficial to someone else as well.